Hey Web World, Scotty D. Thanks for stopping by Interface Webcast. Inside of this plain brown box is the newer technology grip-based podium for iPad. Now, it came by way of our good friends over at MacSales.com as a review unit, and I put a link in the video description below directly to where you can get this product from our good friends over at MacSales.com. And when you do go over there, if you happen to purchase this, let them know you've seen it here on Interface Webcast. Now, I wanted to do a full unboxing for you today, a product assembly, and then my final thoughts of the grip-based podium for iPad. Let's get started. I've gone ahead and removed the tape from the outer box right here to make it easier to get inside. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we've got. The first thing we see here is your newer tech review product. And my guess is, let me take a look inside. Yes, this is the terms and conditions for this being a review product. And of course, you can get one of these for your very own at MacSales.com. And I put a link directly to this product in the video description below. And make sure, like I said, if you go over there and purchase one of these, make sure you let them know you've seen it here on Interface Webcast. So let me go ahead and set this aside. And the first box we see here is quite heavy. I don't know what this is. Let's open up the tape here. And this is the base of the podium. Quite heavy. Um, it's already filled, so this is not one of these that you have to fill with water or try to make it heavy yourself. Oops. Line this up over here. Uh, this is quite heavy. And uh, I think it's going to keep everything nice and secure. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Um, I don't see the assembly instructions yet. What else do we have in here? Uh, we have oh, two boxes. Another box here. Let's see what this box is. Oh, just like anything else you get, the instructions are at the box at the bottom. I don't know why companies do that. I think that's a thing to make sure you take everything out first before you assemble it. So here is the assembly instructions for the newer technology grip base podium. As you can see, quite simple. Just eight simple pictures there showing you how to use the actual uh, grip base podium itself. So we'll go ahead and set down, set that down <laughs> so I can reference that as I'm putting this together. Let's see what we have in this box. A couple of things here. That sounds like metal. Uh, this looks like a holder for the iPad itself. Uh, interestingly uh, about this uh, grip-based podium, uh, if you are ordering one for yourself, make sure you get the right back for the iPad that you have specifically. So keep in mind that each iPad is different uh, from the iPad 2 to the iPad 3 uh, and so on. Um, each iPad is different, so make sure you get the right back for your particular iPad, and I'll show you the reason why here in a second. Let's see what we have here. Uh, a mount screw of sorts. Bubble wrap. That'll be fun to play with later. A metal dish. Let's see what this goes to by the instructions. Oh, okay. So this uh, this has got a satin black finish on it. Very nice. And what it does is it takes the base, which is not very visibly aesthetically pleasing, and it makes it nice and smooth and a nice finish to it so that you um, uh, have a nice professional looking stand wherever you go with this grip base podium. So... I'm going to go ahead and set that down. Uh, this mount screw appears that it is what will hold the podium rod to the base. So we're going to go ahead and get in here with the box. I've uh, got the podium rod and nothing else in the box. We can toss that aside over there. And here is the podium rod itself. Take this out of its protective bag. Now, this is a interesting... Um, uh, set up here. We'll talk about the, the mount point at the top here in a second. So let's go ahead and assemble uh, the grip based podium from newer technology. So we're going to go ahead and step one says to make sure that you put the satin um, plate on top of the mount base, or the, uh, the podium base rather, and then put the uh, screw through the bottom, extending it all the way through the top. And then take your mount rod and secure it to the screw. 
like so. Quite simple. Now I'm not sure, maybe they use this base for other podiums, but it has a cutout here on the bottom. It looks like you can run wires or such through here, but uh, with this particular uh, podium you can't do that. Um, because it doesn't do that. So um, neither here nor there. A really nice podium here. Let's set it down. My biggest thing with podiums is to see how secure they are. Um, so the first thing I wanted to do is to see if I can knock this thing over with some basic pushes. Because if I'm going to put my iPad, this is my iPad, um, if I'm going to mount it to this, I want to make sure that it's not going to fall over and, and damage my iPad. So let's go ahead and give it a couple push tests just to see uh, how stable this unit is. Now, I am on a carpeted floor right now, uh, so let's just go ahead and push it here. That's quite sturdy. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to knock it over. And if anything, it's going to hit me in the face. So let me move out of the way just a little bit and give it a, a good push. As you can see, this thing is not tipping over no matter what I do. I mean, I'm sure that I, if I push it hard enough, it'll tip over, but for general purposes, uh, this thing is not going over. You can see how much it's, it's tipping back and coming back on its own. I'm not doing that at all. It's coming back on its own. So a very, very nice design. Good job, newer technologies, on this one. You really thought this one out. I mean, a, a good podium has a nice, solid base to protect what's going to be mounted to the podium, be it a microphone, or in this case, we've got a iPad going to be mounted to this. Now, we talked about the back of this a few minutes ago. And again, you want to make sure you get the right back for the iPad that you have. And the reason being is all iPads are different from... Uh, generation to generation, they went from the 30 pin to the lightning uh, port uh, connector. Uh, here's mine. Uh, the ports on the outside might be different. Uh, the switches and rocker knobs may be different on the outside. So you want to make sure you get the right backing uh, with the order that you're going to be buying uh, to make sure that your iPad will mount into this. Now, this uh, backing here, which will mount to the uh, podium itself, has kind of a rubber grip on the inside, so it'll hold your iPad nice and secure. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to mount the iPad into the uh, backing right here. I just go ahead and line it up, make sure that it is on the bottom, so my 30-pin uh, connector um, lines up with that hole right there, and just go ahead and push it into place. And it should, and we're going to do this for the very first time together, uh, it should hold my iPad in secure enough to where it's not going to fall out. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it just by the tips of the backing itself, and I'm going to shake it. And as you can see, uh, the iPad is not coming out. Pretty brave doing that all for the first time, not really knowing. But hey, you got to have some trust in the product, right? So there you have uh, and you can see, like I mentioned, you really want to make sure you get the right backing uh, for your camera, making sure that all of your ports are exposed. Your microphone is right up here at the top. I don't know if you knew that, but the microphone for the iPad is right here at the top center of the iPad. Uh, there is the, um, the headphone jack. You get your uh, reboot or standby button, your volume rocker knobs, and the, the, uh, the silencing switch right there. Uh, on the bottom, the speaker is exposed, and of course, uh, the 30-pin connector here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and mount the iPad to the podium. Now, this is the mount point for the podium. Now, it's a little bit different than what most people are used to seeing on a podium. Uh, as you can see right here, this is what it looks like. Hopefully, it came into to focus there. And what this is, it's a pinch grip onto the actual iPad backing. So all you do is depress these two side levers here, and it's got little grippers on this side. And this has got a kind of a rubber grip right here, so it'll actually grab your iPad and hold it secure. So all you need to do is take your iPad. It doesn't matter what orientation you do. I'm going to start out in this orientation right here, and I'm going to squeeze or depress the two side things right here on the podium and you hear it lock into place and at that point your iPad is mounted to the newer technology grip based podium so now what's nice about this I'll turn the orientation here is it does tilt forwards and backwards and it's really sturdy so once you get it into place it'll hold it but also 
it also allows you to rotate your iPad to whatever orientation you need to have it on the podium itself. So be it portrait or landscape, if you need to rotate it 180 degrees, you can. Or if you just want to have some fun, you can uh, spin it 360 degrees and just have a lot of fun with it. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it, it's possible to rotate it. It doesn't have any stops on it to, uh, to stop it from spinning. It does lock into its orientation once it gets there. You can actually hear it and it's good to go on that. Now, I'm going to do another test now that my iPad is mounted to this to see how secure it is just like we did before because by itself it's a very sturdy podium. Now that I've got my iPad on it, let's try it and see what it does. Now, I've never done this before, so if it falls over, it's going to be a first for both you and I. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple good pushes. And it fell over on that because it is top heavy. So by itself, luckily I'm on a carpeted floor, by itself it's a nice straight, uh, sturdy podium, but uh, as you get a little top heavy with your, um, your iPad, if you give it a good push, it will fall over, so just keep that in mind. So just uh, giving it in a couple uh, light pushes, it's not falling over, it's actually uh, snapping back into its vertical position. So uh, let's see how hard I can push this thing before it falls over. Not too bad, not too bad. So there you have it, the newer technology grip base podium for iPad. Now let's talk about why you'd want to have one of these things and how you might put it to use. One of the first ways I think you can put this grip based podium to work is in public speaking arrangements. You know, we've always been taught when we're speaking in public or we're talking to a crowd is to be very engaged with them. And there's nothing far from that in a typical public speaking arrangement. When you're standing behind that big boxy board wood podium and you are separated from your audience. This gives you a very open engagement between you and your audience in a very slim line fashion with your speaking notes right here on your iPad. Another way is if you're using your iPad for presentations in a group. Because I have the iPad 2 right here, I also have the iPad 2 30 pin to VGA adapter. Now I can simply plug this in the bottom of my iPad and secure this to the stand with a zip tie or a Velcro straps and run my video cable up from this and do my presentation straight from my iPad to the audience and still have a very engaging experience. I'm a voiceover talent and there's nothing more challenging when you get that script, you print it out, you go into your studio and you have to figure out some place to stick your script without it falling all over the place. And if it's a long script, you have to staple it together so you don't lose your pages. And when you get to the bottom of the page, you have to flip it over. And it's just noisy. You don't want to deal with the noise of paper inside of a recording environment. It's just not worth it. So get rid of the paper altogether. Now, you could have a monitor in your studio, perhaps like one of these. Now, if you mount that to the wall, it is where it is. Typically, they're not adjustable. So what if you need to bring the monitor further up or a little bit lower? Maybe you want to stand a little bit closer. Who knows what the case may be. Wherever that monitor is, it is what it is. And the grip-based podium allows you to have a lot more flexibility in a very low-profile format to read your scripts from. So I can take my grip-based podium here, have my script loaded up on this. If you've got a Wi-Fi connection to your network, you can have live updates to your script as it's happening. You can adjust the podium where you need it to be and have that script right in front of you to be able to read it very easily and be able to be animated and not have a lot of things in your way when you're reading your script of your voiceover. Now, you can also take this podium and put it ever so behind the microphone and still have it right there in front of your face to be able to read things. And if you're doing a long dialogue format like an audiobook, the only thing you're going to have when you're going from page to page is the swipe of your finger on the glass. And that doesn't make any noise at all. So a very good application for this. Now another way you could use this is if you're on the road traveling doing voiceover work. You can put an application such as Twisted Wave on the iPad and have it all right in front of your face with like an Apogee mic or something like that that you travel with and be able to have your entire recording environment right here in front of your face and be it very easily. You can hook up a pop filter to this, you can hook up another mic boom to this and have it all 
in one unit. A very good application for the grip-based podium. And beyond the business environment, the grip-based podium will find its way into your personal life with practical applications. Like right here in the kitchen, keeping your counters clutter-free as you're cooking on the stove, having your recipes right in front of you, and easily turning from page to page. I have to thank our good friends over at MaxSales.com for sending along this review unit. It has so many practical applications both in the business and personal life that really the options are endless and only limited by your imagination. So, the Grip Base Podium, MaxSales.com, the link is below in the video description. It retails at the time of this video for $49.99 US. I highly recommend it. Check it out and don't forget if you do happen to pick up one of these for yourself, drop a video response of how you are using it in your life and don't forget to tell Max Sales that you've seen it here on Interface Webcast. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so. Tell all of your friends about Interface Webcast. Maybe if you like it, they'll like it, they'll subscribe too. And we'll see you next time, web world.